I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a tropical rainforest biome and a Bengal tiger. I come away over here on the bottom left and we're going to draw a rectangle. One, two, three, four straight lines. I come to every corner and I draw a little straight diagonal line out. And then I come back up and I draw a wavy, wavy line connect. Wavy, wavy line connect. Wavy, wavy line connect wavy wavy line connect. Inside the space I'm going to write tropical rainforest. Now a biome is a large area of land or water that has similar climate, plants, and animals. The biome that we're doing, the rainforest, it is part of the rainforest around the world. So we're going to start over here on the left and we're just going to draw a curve line up, down. Rainforest also is jungle. Curve line up, down. Come in the center of each one and draw a curve line down. Come up here on the top left. Curve line down, up, curve line inside, we're going to do curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and then right here, curve line down, up, off the page. Come inside, draw a little curve line, little curve line, little curve line down. And right here on this corner, we're going to draw a curve line out, up, down, up, little curve line, up. Curve line inside, 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 going down. Right here in the center, put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the dot, slightly curved line down on the left. Come back up on the right, and we're going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect. On the left, curved line out, down connect. Starting on the left, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line down. Leave it floating. Come on the right. Wavy, wavy, wavy line down and connect. Come back to the left. Curve line down. Bam! You crash into that. Jump over. Continue your line. Come up here on the right. Curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Now we're going to be adding a lot of lines. So follow along. Curve line down, curve line up, connect. Curve line down, bam, crashes, jump over, curve line down, off the page. Curve line up, connect. Little curve line down, little curve line up, connect. Little curve line down, little curve line up, connect. Now these lines, everybody will have a different look because we all draw differently. We're filling up the space with curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Fill in, curve line down, up, connect. And maybe one more here. Curve line down, up, connect. Now, come up here on the right. We're just going to draw a little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. Right where our dot was, we're going to draw a curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. Jump over, curve line down, up, connect. Curve line down, up, connect. In this center space, we draw a slightly curved line down on the left, slightly curved line down on the right. Come right back to the left and we're going to draw a curved line down, up, 
connect, come underneath, curve line down, up, connect. Right at this point, we're just going to mimic that and draw it again. Curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Right at this point, we draw a big curve line out, up, connect. On the right, big curve line up, down, connect. Right here, little curve line. Inside, dot, 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 dot. On the right, dot, 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 dot. On the left, one, two, three, four, five curve lines. One, two, three, on the left. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a baby circle and a little curve line inside. Jump over on the left, baby circle, little curve line inside. Now, starting on the right, we're going to draw a curve line up and mimic that line again. We're going to do a lot of mimicking. Come on the left, curve line up. This one's easier to come back down, curve line, connect. Right next to our baby circle, curve line down, up, on the left. And let's see if we can do it again, curve line over, down, up, on the right. Now come back in and let's see if we can mimic that line on the left, mimic that line, which means draw it again. Come over here, curve line down, up, connect on the right, curve line down, up, connect on the left. Following this wavy line, let's draw a little wavy line up on the right and a little wavy line on the left. Let's see, where else do we need to add? Maybe squish one more up here at the top. Everybody's is going to look different because we all draw differently. I think that's all, but you know me, I'll know more once I start coloring. Let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, I don't usually do the background first, but I think it's important for us to see what we have drawn. There's a lot of things going on here. So I take my yellow green, or really any green, and I loop-de-loop -loop my background. Remember, this guy is in the tropical rainforest biome, which is really jungle. And yeah, I think that's it. This is why it's important for you to color it in so you can see what you're doing. Now, I'm going to take my regular green and I'm going to color all the other leaves and background shrubs which is really all these spaces now you notice I'm doing kind of just up down up down I'm not coloring real straight because I might want to come back in and do another color over but we will decide. Now this way you can see what part is you and what part is the background and what part is the tiger. Now I'm taking my regular blue and I'm coloring in this space so I can see my label. Okay? Then I take my black and I color in this space and this space so I can see what I've done. Then I take orange and I'm going to color this space and I'm loop-de-looping and just using my big color and I'm going to come in and I'm going to put some orange on the outside part because he is fur. And I'm just putting in that layer, a little bit of layer. Usually what I do, and I tell all of you, if you see a black line and you want to add a little bit of color, use that as your guide. I'm not putting in a bunch of straight coloring. 
just a little bit of loop-de-loop -loop color around. Okay? Then, if you have apricot, peach, or one of these multicultural crayon colors, then you can come in and fill in loop-de-loop -loop all that white paper that's still around. And that kind of evens out the fur color of your animal so he doesn't look all white although they do have white on them so we're kind of blending colors to give our guy a little bit of color beyond that white paper look finally I shouldn't say finally now take your yellow and color in the bottom space right here now we can take our black and do this space down here at the bottom you might want to add a little black dot right there and now we're going to do all of these spaces and again I'm not filling it in total when you do an animal you kind of want to leave it a little bit I'm following my black lines that I already drew but you kind of want to leave a little bit of it open in case you want to add more color because you can always add more color but you can't take it away so I'm just going to do my black so I can see my stripes and then I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this on the right this is important right here on the right you'll do a better job than me this little space right here now I look at it and I go hmm is that enough all right I'm going to come up and do a little bit of black on the inside of here I'm going to add a little bit of black here not a lot just kind of give it a little emphasis bring it down bring it down bring it over that's why you need that orange to kind of give you a base oops and this should be black always be careful with black you can always add black but it's difficult to take away black I would say pretty much impossible all right you might need a little bit more of my peach apricot or whatever this is. Fill it in. But I think he looks pretty good. All right, again, tropical rainforest, endangered animal, Bengal tiger. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my tiger, endangered species, all colored in, in my rainforest biome. And probably the biggest thing about these animals is that it's mankind who's coming in and taking them out, encroaching on their land and bodies. Okay, bye-bye.